How am I? Hello there, buddy. S oh, JX, what do you want, JX? You're just gonna throw me again. No, it's not JX, it's Hold Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Hold No, it's not, bro. Hod has a deeper voice. I'm Hold Gaming, boy. I'm Hold <laughs> Gaming. Nice voice bro, you got there, boy. I, I pulled my parachute way too late, bro, and I died. That's unfortunate, mate. You, probably that toxic JX, not me, Hog Gaming. Oh, my bad, Hog Gaming. Okay, my bad. <laughs> anyway, do you want another lift, mate? Do you want another lift, mate? Oh, no, no, oh. no, no, no. You know, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Yes, take me. Just take me. Take me out of the desert and just throw me. Eat me. Uh, that's all right. I'll see you later, mate. Oh, you got a chick. This out, boys. Was just going over to the Wyvern trench to see if any eggs are spawned because there hasn't been any eggs over there for absolutely ages. <laughs> I got this egg, level 210. What? Get level 210 eggs. That's absolute madness. Let's get this back to base. Oof. I can't wait to see what this thing's stats are like. All right, so here it is, the 210 Wyvern. I haven't had a look at its stats yet. Let's see if I can get it to follow me over here. It is on lowest follow distance, so it should come along. Pretty cool looking. Yeah, really cool looking, like a white, orange, and yellow, and a gray as well. 6K health? What? These stats don't look high at all. This is a stat there that's super high, I'm not realising yet. Kinda looks like food and torpor might be high. I'm not even it. I'm really disappointed. I thought this would have like some crazy stats. At least I was led to believe that they would. Uh oh well, it is what it is, I guess. We'll have to see how it comes out. So as I predicted, things are going along super, super quick now that we've got our um, skiff and all this good stuff. It's so easy picking things up to tame. We've got UEs, racers, golems, um, deodons, just all the things that we wanted um, to actually get us going to that next level we now have. Just made a whole load of cryo pods and a couple of cryo fridges finally. Should have made these earlier, but it's tough when you prioritize and certain things. God, this thing's nearly dead. I need to make another trough actually to cover this whole area. Um, anything else down here? Yeah, we'll uh, get the moss chops and just crying as much as possible because, to be honest, when things are put away, there's quite a lot of space up here and it's quite nice. You can see we've got a lot more progress going with the tech turrets wall there. Uh, obviously, we're going to want to put a cliff plate outside, but at the moment, we're focusing on the back because the back is a little bit glitchy and um, a little bit vulnerable. So we just put some tech turrets out the back and then we'll probably work on this after we've strengthened the back a little bit more. But yeah, progress is really good and uh, I'm honestly just holding out right now for raid footage. Now we've got our golems as well and we've just about to get killed for the golems. We should have some decent raids as there are bases all over this place. So at this point, I was a little bit fed up of the space that we had right next to our crafting station. We weren't making the most of it. It was just being constantly filled with loads of wyverns and things we were raising. So I decided to make a new kind of area here for us to hopefully make the most out of.
Alright, well it's not the most precise build ever, but this should give us a few more options now. <laughs> Loads of room to land a couple of flyers and stuff up the top. As well as room to put any other things, like maybe some vaults or whatever up there. Probably want to keep them on the ground though, because it is still a bit of a worry. People were uh, shooting from over there, so anything like in this line uh, could be a problem. I think once you get to about here, it's not really an issue, because I don't think a tech rifle would shoot further than that but you know i mean if they're at that point we're in a bit of a mess anyway so maybe we'd have some vaults over here would make sense um but yeah it's looking much more like a proper base now with that gives us more options so in a lot of my videos i get you guys asking uh, about farming techniques and how we farm so i'm currently doing this seems to be the best way of doing what i'm trying to do right now which is wood farming uh basically with the skiff um i can't imagine a much better way and the skiff is so you know amazing for everything but things like this are absolutely ideal so i just managed to get all of this wood just on one quick run to the uh redwoods with the skiff and i'll just go and get some more in a second and show you guys how i'm doing it i'm putting both wood and metal in uh, both of these because then it will smelt quicker i know it sounds like one but if you think about it you've got charcoal producing twice and metal producing twice rather than just charcoal producing and just metal producing i don't know think about it i'm pretty sure this will mean that it will, will uh, finish faster and uh, seeing as we don't have a crazy amount of metal that we need to uh, smell right now while I do this. So yeah, I'll just hop on the skiff, just show you how super easy it is. Come on baby, give me something nice. I haven't grabbed a red drop or a ring around it in a while. Absolutely terrible. I'm gonna let someone else come and see how horrible that is as well. Right, I'm being very productive right now and doing a poly farm and also looking out for tappies. And I did just see a nice tappy around here. We're thinking tech tappy is gonna be a super, super nice thing um, for these bases that are near us. And it was kind of around here somewhere. I'll have a little look around for it. If I can't find it, I'll just go get another crab what i'm doing actually is i'm picking up all the crabs with a skiff and then i'm doing a uh, a trap and then i'll kill them all with a moss chop well i'll kill them with a wyvern and harvest them with a moss chop so i don't think it was this tappy let's just do a double check there was a 145 around here somewhere this is a 25 so no it's not that one but yeah i'll go get another crab and uh maybe hopefully i'll find this tappy as well Oh, I'm pretty sure it was this one behind me. Come on, baby. Yes, 145 Tappy. Absolutely won this. You can see here all the crabs I've got in here. I actually found one more up top that I'm going to get. Let's just uh, knock this out. I believe I can just jump off of this and it'll hold it. And I've got some tranks on me. Hopefully it'll survive it. I have to get right under it with this thing. Oh, I might have to hit it in the body. It's getting low, please don't die. <sighs> to be fair, if it dies on train carriers, it didn't have good health anyway, and that's the stat we're after, really. There we go. Alright, I'm not too worried about what his stats are, because any stat 145 tappy is going to be pretty good. And uh, I'll go get, I think, one more crab while that starves out a little bit. We'll do poly farm and new tappy tame all at once. Beautiful stuff. Okay, so we've got everything here. Uh, thrown some nut in the tappy. That should be all right. So I just keep uh, getting an eye on it. Let's have a little look. Yeah, it's absolutely fine. We've got the moss chops and we've got the chainsaw to get poly. We'll see which one 
does best. Oh, my guy's starving. Oh, not starving, thirst. Um, we've actually just thrown out my wyvern here as well because this is actually my new full-size wyvern that I got from those air eggs. Um, now, I'm not sure the differences. This doesn't say that it's an air wyvern. It actually still says crystal wyvern. Um, but this does seem like it's a big full-size wyvern. So maybe with this one, I'll be able to pick up trikes, stegos, and all the bigger things that you can't pick up with these smaller ones. Also, recently we had someone try and make some superior kibble with the eggs from our air wyverns and they said it wasn't working now they might have been doing something wrong uh, but we'll see yeah wake up scream hurry up um but yeah if that's the case we'll need to get eggs from these ones to make the kibble or obviously we can yeah uh, use the ut eggs i think but we've got loads of these in here once i get all the polymer from these i'm probably going to make up some of the really nice pump shotguns that we've got and maybe a couple of compound arrows Alright, I'm going to try not to hit my attack while I do this. But let's uh, kill these using this thing. Should give it a nice little XP bump. Alright, what a mess I've made. I think that's all of them. Uh, right, I want to get this nice and close because I'm going to be transferring straight to here because of the weight. So let's see if I can just I could park it in there, you know. But I think this will be fine. Uh, let's try with a moss chops and see how this goes. Just got to hold the right click. Oh, it's got much weight this thing. I'll tell you what, I'll just throw it out straight over there. Seeing as I don't have a cryopod timer. I'll wait for the cryopod thing to go though because uh, it's like a damage reduction, isn't it? There's a chance that when I right click, it will actually munch all of them if I'm not careful. So let's just try, let's see if we can throw it there. Yeah, let's give it a hold. Oh no, got to wait for the cryo thing because it says damage reduction we definitely don't want that so three two one zero we're all clear hold right click oh no it's not close enough come on ah we're not in there come on i might throw this out in there ah damn right we might have to put it in there which would kind of suck uh, i'll wait for my cry timer then let's see if we can do a chainsaw one let's see how many we get from one with this Hmm, only 240. That's actually disappointing. I've got over a thousand before with what was only a slightly better um, chainsaw. Let's just uh, put my stuff away, actually. Other than the chainsaw, I can probably ride this thing. I'll just destroy the uh, some stone walls. I'll just replace these in a second. So, oh, no, let's not do that. Let's get on this one. We've got a thousand then. I think I'm going to do the moss chops. 1700, not bad. There's only one more to go. Uh, yeah, the moss chop does seem to I think it's slightly better than what I'm doing. Oh, that's not that. That's that. Let's grab this. Yeah, I think we're going to go moss chops. Unless I do have a better chainsaw. Because I swear I've got over a thousand from one with a better chainsaw before. Okay. See, there we've got 300 from one. So it's not actually too crazy. Um, I think it's pretty even, actually, between the two. Either way, we've got a good amount of polymer. Let's take this back and I'll start making stuff. I'm just going to top up Narc with the uh, tappy over here. Make sure it stays knocked out. Oh, looks super damaged. I wonder if something else has attacked this. It kind of looks like I swear it wasn't that low before. Oh, that'd be a shame if it has. Okay, anyway, better than not having one. Oh, we've got someone. Someone actually attacking this stuff now. Oh dear! Someone just got melted by the turrets, man. Super unfortunate, my dear. What are you doing, my dear? Right, he should have everything now. Um, there's a lot more space in this thing. Damn, I'll take a load of stuff out. Um, I can't really take stuff out, can I? Let's just, like, drop some fibre. Am I going to need fibre to make the combo? Don't do it, no. Right, I'll just drop the fibre out and throw this metal in. I'll pick that fibre up in a second. Anyway, let's turn this on. Put the ingots in and let's see what we can make. I just want to make one of these. Could make. So I think we're going to be able to make three overall. Like maybe two shotguns or one combo. Combo. And then we can make 
one of these and one of these. Probably going to want the shotgun over those two. And then what we need for more? We would need a lot more poly, uh, poly to do a lot more. Okay, right, so that's not so bad. Let's have a little look at my shotgun. So, backup one as well. We can make a little bit of this. Perfect, perfect. Let's do that. And uh, let's get a comp bow as well. Don't have a crafting character here right now, so this will have to do, but still be very, very useful. Shotgun and Griffin's actually a great combo. Are you kidding me? Something's hit this man. It's super. Only 24 levels from Tame. It's kind of not worth it. At the same time, it's taken me so long to find a 145. I must have hit it, unless there's some little troll around here. Either way, I'm having it now. Screw it, we've got it. It's uh, 169. Pretty terrible for what it could have been. Oh, God, 2k health. Well, I mean, it's a tappy. It's a tame tappy. Look at it. I'll look at it that way. I'll pretend I just tamed a, I don't know, a level 70 or something. But I am super gutted about that, I will be honest. And I'll definitely be out looking for more high level ones. So we're rounding off today's video there. We've got a super juicy raid in the next episode, which is going to be on Wednesday. So make sure you don't miss out on that. These are uploaded on a Sunday and a Wednesday, as well as videos on a Sunday on my tech channel. Make sure to have your notifications on for that. Don't forget to smash that like button if you haven't done already. And today's secret word is going to be base. Just put the word base in your comments somewhere. That's it for now, guys. I'll see you in the next one.